ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, you guys, so you guys know what that meme means, okay? Once again, I have some pissy pie piper news for you all. So what's going down is this, as you guys know, I have been on top of this R. Kelly situation, this whole R. Kelly story, long before it became trendy, long before it became popular, and now it looks like R. Kelly is finally going to see his day in court, as he should have seen his day in court a long damn time ago, okay? So what's going down is this, um, if you guys are not following me on Instagram, follow me for all the latest breaking tea. As we reported Friday, attorney Michael Levante, he has confirmed that there is a third R. Kelly sex tape, okay? A third tape has leaked. This is what he took to social media to share with everybody. Go ahead and check this out. So Michael says, update. We have become aware of the existence of a third tape that allegedly shows further acts of sexual abuse of an underage girl by R. Kelly, which we are presently working to recover and turn over to law enforcement. All right, so you guys just heard what Michael Aventi had to say. So now on top of that, Two women came out recently over the weekend and they did a press conference with Gloria Aldred and these women are stating that they were 15 and 16 years old when R. Kelly abused them in front of a bunch of people. Um, it was behind, it was um, after one of his concerts. So this entire situation is crazy. Go ahead and check out this video and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. From returns, he had a walkie talkie. He said R. Kelly is getting ready to enter the room. Pull up your dresses. Rochelle and I did what we were told. We were standing. We had panties on underneath our dresses. Then R. Kelly came into the room a few minutes later. The other man left right away when Kelly entered the room. Mr. Kelly was wearing jeans and a white t-shirt. His penis was out and over top of his pants. He started talking about dancing. He asked both of us to dance. He was on the bed when he asked. I said I would dance for him, but Rochelle didn't dance. He put his hands under my dress. He asked us both if we could do a threesome. Rochelle said, no, I don't do that. She left and she went into the bathroom. Rochelle had been raped in 1995, which was about six months before meeting Kelly. When Kelly was All right, so now even though it sounds like she's reading from a bad script, She's still a victim, okay? So now this is the breaking news. As of an hour ago, it's now being reported that R. Kelly is going to be charged of aggravated criminal sexual abuse towards four minors, okay? So obviously there was some stuff on those new tapes. Cook County's not playing. They got Jesse Street Meat Smollett, and now they're coming for R. Kelly's ass, okay? Rumor has it he's already been arrested. Um, Jay Savage took to her social media page, and she said that they're also trying to get him for sex trafficking. If you guys don't know, Jay Savage is the girl who was rapping about R. Kelly. What about a nigga pissing on a female? Uh -uh. It's deeper, way deeper than that. Listen to the detail. I can't believe it took these years to bring this man down. Walking out the room with Bubba. Both of them had their pants down. Wasn't a bitch, but Bubba was a bitch. He wrote trapped in the closet. Understand what I'm saying now? Uh -huh. 50 year old faggot, and he know the shit. shit. But he hoping that his fans don't notice that this man is inappropriate. Guessing he won't quit. Nah. What kind of men attempt to have sex with his own? Um, her sister, Joyce Lynn Savage, is still with R. Kelly, okay? So this is what she said on social media earlier today. Check this out. <laughs> All 
All right, so you guys just saw what Jay Savage had to say. So now this is what the news is reporting about R. Kelly's, you know, soon to be arrest. She's saying that he was arrested. The mainstream media has not reported that yet. But this is what's being reported. Go ahead and check this out. So they're saying R&B star R. Kelly was charged with 10 counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse Friday in Chicago. Each count contains a three to seven year prison sentence. Some of the charges stem from a newly discovered video found by attorney Michael Avanti that allegedly shows Kelly having sex with a 14 year old girl according to the copy of the indictment obtained by USA Today. A no bail arrest warrant for R. Kelly has been issued by, the Chicago, by a Chicago judge. The Associated Press reported that a no bail arrest warrant doesn't necessarily mean that the defendant won't eventually be offered bail once appearing in court to answer the charges. Kelly is to appear in court Sunday for a bond hearing, said Cook County State's Attorney Kim Fox at a press conference in Chicago to announce the charges. She said that the indictment lists four victims identified by initials and multiple alleged criminal acts of sexual assault dating back to 1998. Court documents show three of the victims were between the ages of 13 and 17 at the time of the alleged crimes. She said Kelly was at least five years older than the victims. Aventi is holding a news conference at 5 p.m. Aventi also remained quiet throughout the 10-month investigation of Kelly on behalf of multiple clients and responded to the indictments on Twitter proclaiming after 25 years of serial sexual abuse and assault of underage girls, the day of reckoning for R. Kelly has arrived. Honey. Well, it looks like this man is gonna be trapped in a damn jail cell, okay? Fuck being trapped in the closet. He's about to be trapped in a jail cell because at this point in time, these charges are serious. They're going to stick. He's not going to be able to just, you know, persuade jurors like before. There's a lot of evidence. So R. Kelly is definitely in a lot of big trouble. And they're saying that he's looking at upwards of 70 years in prison. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see how all of this plays out. But I'm glad that he's finally getting his day of reckoning. Anybody who's abusing and having sex with underage girls and abusing teenagers, you know, be it male or female, because men get sexually assaulted and get abused too as well, okay? Anybody who's doing this, they should be charged and found guilty. There was no reason for R. Kelly to get off all those years ago, okay? But I'm glad that they're going to make amends to what they messed up over 20-something years ago. I cannot believe my eyes. I tell you, I went out to dinner today and we were having a good old funky time. And while I was at dinner, I started getting notifications that R. Kelly, yes, the pissy pied piper, turned himself in this evening to police. So, yes, honey, I cannot believe my eyes. Y'all go ahead and check out this news clip. R&B singer R. Kelly left his studio late tonight and turned himself into police in the middle of a sea of cameras. Looking down and surrounded by his entourage, he did not say one word as reporters shouted questions at him. Are you innocent? This after a bombshell indictment charges that Kelly sexually abused four women over a 12-year span, three when they were under the age of 18. If found guilty, he could be sentenced to 70 years in prison. Earlier today, Robert Kelly was indicted before a Cook County grand jury on 10 counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse. Prosecutors say the abuse took place between 1998 and 2010. This is the second time his alleged abuse will be on trial after a jury acquitted him in 2008 on charges he filmed himself having sex with a girl as young as 13. Lawyer Michael Avenatti represents one of the four victims in this most recent indictment. The charges also come a week after Mr. Avenatti said he gave prosecutors new video evidence of the singer with his client. Repeatedly on the video, both the victim and Mr. Kelly refer to the victim's age as being 14. That occurs in excess of 10 separate times on the video. This tape leaves no question as to whether R. Kelly is guilty of multiple sexual illegal acts 
against a 14-year-old girl. For decades, the singer has been trailed by allegations of sexually abusing young girls, even holding some of them captive. In January, his alleged actions were brought back into the spotlight in a Lifetime docuseries called Surviving R. Kelly. A lawyer for Mr. Kelly called the accusations baseless, telling the Associated Press, unfortunately, they have succumbed to the court of public opinion who've convicted him. Now, that lawyer for Mr. Kelly spoke to the media just a few minutes ago, calling all the women who are accusing his clients liars, saying double jeopardy should apply and that the singer shouldn't be charged because he was acquitted in 2008. Kelly is scheduled to appear in court tomorrow afternoon for a bond hearing. I cannot believe my eyes. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. So let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning the pissy Pied Piper and him now having to face the damn Pied Piper, okay? He's not having to face these charges, and hopefully this time everything will stick. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation, once again, concerning R. Kelly. All right, deuces.